You hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you too. I'll slide into an oven fresh bun. And I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy good hot dog? Mmm, delicious. When you work for an ex-hippie musician, he sends you to places where the hot dogs are made by ex-hippie musicians. This week's Behind the Dish is, has us here in Tampa, Florida, where we're going to check out Mel's and see what this is all about. We've been doing fancy hot dogs for the last two weeks. We are about to do some good old-fashioned ballpark dogs. Well, here we go. Mel's Hot Dogs in Tampa. We got two different kind of hot dogs today. We got the Chicago Dog all the way, recommended by Mel himself, and then the Mel Specials. So we're going to bite into these things. They come in these nice poppy seed buns. They look delicious. Look at that thing. We got some peppers on there. Look at these little peppers. So cute. And that's a nice Vienna hot dog. Got a nice snap to it. This thing's delicious. I'm going to bite into this thing a few more times and see if there's anything else we would need. So, the one bite into the Chicago dog, really good. He is a little more mustard. Um, but that's the bun, steamed poppy seed, the Vienna beef uh, casing. This thing is awesome. Uh, this is a, I would call this a ballpark dog. This is the kind of dog you're going to get at the stadium or you're going to get while you're uh, in the city. This is not a fancy dog. We've been doing the tuxedo dogs the last couple visits all dolled up. So this is one of the better ones. So Chicago dog, I give it an A+. This is delicious. We enjoy these things together. I do get a little bit more mustard, just a mustard slut sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with that. Man, I really like this hot dog. I can't believe I've lived here for all this time and I haven't found this place yet. There's something about the snap. That natural casing in that Vienna beef hot dog. It just makes it so delicious. Mel knew what he was doing. He put himself right here by Bush Gardens too, man. Great location, busy street, cute little 50s diner. Well, some people have a problem putting tomato on hot dogs. I'm not one of them people. I think toppings are great. I'll put a hot dog in anything, or anything on a hot dog, either way. Um, I like this place. They build the hot dogs right in front of you. They have the little steam table. They pull the dog. You put your toppings on. It's kind of assembly line style. And when they serve it up to you, the service is quick. There's people in here. It seems like this is a popular place in Tampa. We made a good choice coming here. It's the second hot dog we're going to eat, you know we always eat two. Pickle, relish, sauerkraut, onions. I put some mustard on there just a little bit, not too much. Um, and this is called Mel Special. It's recommended by the girl in front who is super sweet. I also met Jessica today. Super enthusiastic about working here. Mel, that's a great hire there. It's really cool. I think there's something neon green. I think it's the onions. All right, neon green. They were on both the hot dogs. Very interesting, very cool. And very tasty. Like a mamma mess over here. These things are delicious, man. Come to Melton Tampa. I think we had an epiphany while we were here. We have to distinguish between the two hot dogs. We do it behind the dish. So I think moving forward, we're going to classify these as ballpark, which is what I would call Mel's. It's just a delicious hot dog that you would eat anywhere. And then we're going to do ballroom, the fancy tuxedo nap hot dogs we did uh, when we had the beef dog and when we were at Crafted Kitchen in Lakewood, and then when we did the dog house last week. So we're going to go two different ways. We're going to do ballroom or ballpark. Mel's and Easy Bar. This is the food guy. I'm behind the dish. Mel's hot dogs here in Tampa. I would call this thing a hidden gem because I've lived here and I had no clue it was here. I would definitely be back. This thing is delicious. Thanks for joining us today. Follow us on Ball9 on Twitter, Ball9 Tweet, Ball9.com. I'm your food guy. I'm working for Chris Vitale. This is Mel's. That's it. That's Mel's in Tampa. We are full of hot dogs. We are satisfied. Those were delicious. Chicago dog, 
Mel's special 50s diner look. Great location, great food. Hoping to talk to Mel this week. Thank you for joining us again. I'm your hashtag the food guy. Ball nine, behind the dish. If you aren't excited about hot dogs like I'm excited about hot dogs, then you're not gonna like that. I got a bumper sticker from this place and a t-shirt. Stay tuned, stay hungry. Can't wait to see you next week. Don't know where we'll be, but I can promise you one thing, there's gonna be hot dogs.